video. I hope you have been doing very well. In today's video, I am going to share with you a what I eat in a day as a vegan with four awesome vegan recipes. As always, the recipes will be down in the description box below. If you do want to try them out and if you do try them out, make sure to take a photo and tag me on Instagram so that I can see your creation. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. And as always, my day today started with hot cacao. Okay, so I always start by blending my hot cacao in my Vitamix before putting it into a pot over the stove and whisking it and then allowing it to get nice and hot before I enjoy it. It is a very beautiful way to start the day. From there, I moved on to making myself some breakfast. And this morning I decided to make like an avocado and pea smash. I first of all started with half of an avocado as well as half a cup of peas and then I also added in some fresh lemon juice as well as a little bit of nutritional yeast and a pinch of salt. Then I also added in some fresh coriander. You could add whatever herbs you would like to and then I used the fork to mash this all together until it was nice and creamy and well combined. Then from there I got two pieces of crusty bread and I toasted it and then I put my avocado and pea smash on top followed by some vegan feta by the brand The Vegan Dairy. It's really really good. Then I also added some hemp seeds on top and I enjoyed this very much so it was a really nice way to start the day. From there, I was really in the mood to make like a sweet treat and decided to challenge myself to making a caramel slice. So for the base layer, I first of all started by putting some dates in some boiling water and I set that to the side whilst I got my Vitamix and I started by putting in some almond meal and then I also added in some pink salt as well as coconut oil and then from there I also added in some vanilla as well as maple syrup and then I also added in the dates that I had soaked in the boiling water so that they were nice and soft and they would blend together really easily. I put my little my Vitamix and I blended this until it was nice and well combined. Then I got a baking tray and I lined it with some baking paper and I filled up uh, the baking tray with about half full with that base mixture and I put it in the freezer for at least half an hour until it was nice and firm. Whilst that was in the freezer I decided to make the caramel layer so the middle layer and I first of all started by soaking some cashews in boiling water and I set those to the side for like 15 minutes before I put them into my Vitamix as well as some coconut cream. Then I also added in some maple syrup as well as some coconut sugar. And then from there, I also added in some maca powder, obsessed with maca powder in like everything at the moment. And then I also added in some vanilla as well as a pinch of salt to make it like a salted caramel moment, you know? I blended this all together and I blended it for quite a while until it was really, really nice and smooth and delicious. This was actually such a good caramel recipe. I feel like I would use it just to like dip strawberries or any other fruit in. Then I decided to absolutely improvise and put like this container in my baking tray so that the caramel wouldn't like overflow. And I put this caramel on top of the base and then put it back in the freezer for again at least a half an hour but it could definitely go for more. To make the chocolate layer I decided that I was just gonna melt some chocolate and I think that this is where I went wrong. This recipe is really delicious but I think if I were to make any changes to it I would do less chocolate and maybe just make my own chocolate with like coconut oil, maple syrup and cacao. Anyway, regardless, I melted a couple of blocks of chocolate and then I poured this on top of the mixture. Uh, you definitely could try doing this, but I would recommend using less chocolate. I will put the measurements that I recommend using down in the description box below. And yeah, I put that into the freezer, brought it out, and it took me a while to cut into the right size pieces, but I got there eventually, and these are what my caramel slices looked like, and it was a really enjoyable, sweet treat for the day. 
Before we get into the rest of what I eat in a day, I want to really quickly talk about vegan and cruelty-free hair care. You guys have been showing me a lot of love on my hair lately and I'm very grateful for Function of Beauty who create 100% customizable shampoo and conditioners and who have very generously sponsored today's video. Function of Beauty allow you to fill out a two minute quiz online where you put in your hair type, hair goals, personalized preferences, as well as the color and fragrance you would like. I personally love that Function of Beauty is 100% vegan and cruelty free and also contains no parabens, sulfates, GMOs or toxins. You also get to choose the name that is printed on your bottles, which is something super unique, which I really love. My personal hair goal at the moment is to volumize as well as strengthen my hair. And for my shampoos and conditioners, I chose the peach and mandarin scent as well as the color orange mainly to match the aesthetic of our apartment. I also ordered the leave-in treatment, which is 100% customizable and super easy to add to any order. So far, I have been loving how healthy and strong my hair is feeling, as well as the compliments I have been receiving on how good my hair smells. If you'd like to try out Function of Beauty, which I do recommend, follow the link in my bio and you can get 20% off your first order. Thank you again to Function of Beauty for sponsoring today's video. And let's move on to the next meal of the day, which are these delicious cauliflower wings that I made for lunch. So for my cauliflower wings, I first of all, preheated the oven, important step. And then using my Vitamix once again, I started first of all by putting in some plain flour as well as some nutritional yeast. We are making the batter for the wings, just so you know. And then from there, I also added in some spices. So I did some smoked paprika as well as some chili and some onion powder and then I also added in some pink salt and then I added in almond milk as well but you could use whichever plant-based milk you would like to then I put the lid on my Vitamix and blended this all together until it had no lumps if you don't have a blender you could easily just whisk this all together as well then I got about half of a head of cauliflower that I had cut into florets and I coated all of these pieces in the batter. You'll notice that I've put these on like a cooling wire. I've done this so that all of the extra batter just like drips underneath before I put it into the oven to bake. Definitely recommend doing this. And then from there, I put all of these onto a baking tray and I baked them in the oven for about half an hour with a little bit of a drizzle of oil on top. Uh, and these turned out super crispy and super delicious. To go with the wings, I decided to make like a chili cashew cream. And I first of all started with some cashews. Of course, I've used so many cashews in today's what I eat in a day video, as well as some lemon, apple cider vinegar, nutritional yeast, and then I also added in some chili as well as some salt, and then I also added some water so that we could actually blend this thing together. Once again, putting a little my Vitamix and blending that all together. So as you can see, my cauliflower wings are nice and crispy. And on top of these, I drizzled my chili cashew cream. This cashew cream makes about double what you need. Just an FYI, so you can definitely keep it in the fridge for a rainy day. And I topped it with some snow pea sprouts to serve and very much so enjoyed these wings for lunch. I will definitely be making them again. Alrighty, let's move on to dinner. And once again, starting with cashews in the Vitamix and following that with some basil as well as some oil. And then I also added in some cloves of garlic as well as some lemon. And then I added in some salt. Right here, I am making a pesto recipe that my friend Sophie created. I will link her recipe down below. I highly recommend it. It's such a delicious vegan pesto recipe. Then in a frying pan, I fried up some tofu for Kara and I fried up some chickpea tempeh for me, of course. And then I started cooking some pasta in some boiling water as well. As you may be able to tell, we are making a vegan pesto pasta, which is one of my favorite meals. So from there, I then also put some barbecue sauce on the tofu and the tempeh to make like barbecue tofu and barbecue tempeh it goes so well with pasta in my opinion and then once my pasta was all done I got another pot and I put some kale as well as some peas into the pot with a little bit of nutritional yeast salt and oil and I fried this up until it started to get nice and crispy before adding in my cooked 
pasta. Then to this, I also added in the pesto that I had blended together. And then I mixed this together well so that the pesto was nice and evenly dispersed uh, throughout our whole pasta dish. So this is what I had. And then I topped it with some fresh cherry tomatoes. Sun-dried tomatoes would also be delicious with this. And then I served it also with my barbecue tempeh and I topped it with some hemp seeds because I love hemp seeds on pretty much everything. This is a super nourishing and delicious, like so freaking delicious, this meal. And I really recommend trying it out and checking out that pesto recipe because pesto goes with so many things um yeah and that concludes everything that i ate in a day Alrighty, my beautiful friends so that is everything that i ate in a day as a vegan if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave me a comment down below another quick thank you to function of beauty for sponsoring today's video and thank you to you for supporting my channel for being here and watching and all of that good stuff Anyway, with all that being said, I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you very, very soon for another video. Bye.